Hi, this is Darren with StudioShortcuts.com. Today we're going to look at a, a great freeware reverb called Sur. Sur is up to version 2. Uh, version 2 will cost you a little money, but version 1 is still available and it is totally free and works great. Um, I've loaded up um, a little Rhodes Piano sound in Ableton. Just a simple chord so we can hear the uh, reverb tail. And uh, we turn on the reverb. And yeah, that's that's totally wet. Now this comes with uh, with a few impulses, which are recorded from real spaces. Uh, a lot of times, uh, co this is a convolution reverb, so it works a little bit differently than algorithmic reverbs. In that, they basically these impulse responses are basically uh, samples of actual spaces and actual reverbs. I uh, hear. I've loaded up uh, 960, that's a, a high-end lexicon uh, reverb unit, and people take these uh, impulses and fire them through the reverb and record the results, and that becomes the in impulse response that you use. And it's basically just a wave file, um, and you can get these from this great site called Noise Pages, where people are are creating these and trading them for free, and you can you can get as many as you want. There there were tons on there. Uh, I've got a few from uh, lexicons, uh, I've got some from uh, actual churches, uh, here's one from a French 18th century salon, and uh, I think more than uh, more than algorithmic reverbs, at least the ones that I've used and the ones that I can afford to use are, um, uh, convolution reverbs tend to flatter the sounds a lot more, I believe. Um, you can hear they just have a really nice tail on them. They sound really, really good. And on a mix, on a send, uh, you can really get across uh, uh, the sense that your music's playing in an, in an actual room instead of just sounding like uh, uh, some ready old spring reverb. So uh, I would definitely check out um, Check out Sir Reverb, it's free. And uh, you can get it at this URL right here. And then uh, check out Noise Pages uh, to get some cool impulse responses to use in this reverb. This is Darren with StudioShortcuts.com.